Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony North Eastern. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. And last week we did get sidetracked and decided to build the border tower. Which was good because it helped pass a little bit of time while we've been waiting for the paint to dry on the windows. And that brings us on to this week's video. The continuation of the station. And um Beer trains arrived early. There's no celebrations just yet because the station's not finished. Unless they're going to supply the pub which is down the road, the northeast end. Could be that. Anyway, it's time to get cracking. Right, so here we are, we're back at the bench and I've been altering some of the measurements. Um, there was lots of measurements missing from um, this drawing. This, by the way, is the platform side. It's more or less the, the back of the building. And um, what was missing was the 95 from the floor to the top. I had it down as 90, which is it's wrong. Uh, another dimension that was missing was the 77, which is this wall, which is sitting on the platform. So I've done all that now, I've done all my calculations, and yeah, we're ready to, to go. So, here is the card ready to be cut and I've just placed the doors and windows in situ uh, another thing I wanted to check with this height as well is to make sure when I come to do the sides that I'm going to get two windows in and as you can see there's plenty of space there for the two windows that is for the two windows on these sides here You've probably also noticed that the doors are on the outside of the wall rather than being on the inside. I've swapped them round. The reason being is, is, is it's, well, it's all depending on what I'm going to turn the rooms into. Um, obviously, being on the platform, um, got to have ladies and gents so, so these could become the ladies and gents on either side um, there's not a lot of room actually inside the building I've got 90 millimeters to play with so I might have to split the 90 mil between the gents and the booking office and then the ladies and the, maybe a waiting room that's on the lower floor but on the upper floor uh, they probably have the station master's office and maybe some of the ideas might creep in as I'm going along but um, yeah so here we are we've got the back wall I'm quite happy with the dimensions this is my 77 this corner here or this top here is going to be the apex so I'll draw it out and we'll see where we go from there we're moving on a bit. Uh, I just thought I'd show you this process of how I'm doing this. Um, so basically, I'm taking my measurement. Now, this is nine millimeters from the edge of the door there. So I'll just mark that. And what I'll do then is I'll use a square. Make sure the line is perfectly square, and then put my window in to that corner and then put a little mark here and a little mark on the top of the window and then use the square again to square the lines up it's just to make sure that I get these windows nice and square And then for the final bit, just make sure that all the windows are in line. Uh, 
Well, there we go. So this is almost ready for cutting out. But before I cut it out, let's give you some sort of perspective of how this is going to look in situ. As you can see, it's going to be quite a prominent building when it's finished. Um, here's the view from the platform side. And I've only allowed 40 mil uh, for access for the passengers. So I thought I'd just show you that. And then inside the building, there's not a lot of room at all. I think from that point to that point, I've got 90 millimeters. And from that point there, where, where the rubbers are, to the end here is roughly about 80 millimeters. So it's, it's a big building for such a tight space, but I think it'll work. Right, so I'm starting to cut out the windows. Um, I'm just checking on the back face to see where the marks have come through. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, the card that I'm using at the moment is the 2mm thick craft card um, of eBay. Now you can buy 2mm card from the range. Uh, I have seen it in there. Um, they also do a good quality 1mm card. Uh, I'll be using both thicknesses for this build. Um, but the 2mm I normally use a 2mm for the outer walls to give the building a little bit of strength and um, it keeps it um, rigid as well. So as you can see I'm cutting right down the middle of the pencil line just to give the windows and doors a little bit of wiggle room. Um, you'll see later on I'll just turn it over where I've come through. I'll just bring the line across to get a nice neat cut on both sides. So this piece here will have a 1mm backing on it so that when I put the inner walls in I've got something to butt up against. Um, so all this marking out I've done here for this centre section, I've got to do again. So there we go. So that's that. Once you've cut through, the blade just automatically cuts through the original cut. The windows then should just pop out. This is the best part, I think, seeing the buildings come to life. So that was just one more to do. That's that big one there. I am now gluing on the stiffener for the back wall. You notice it's two mil narrower either side to allow for the next walls to butt up against this edge. Just gluing that on, just making sure it's flush with the bottom and you have your 2mm at the top of either side and most, most importantly to make sure that it's square. Right, so I shall let that dry. Once that's dry, it's just a case of cutting that off, cutting round the window apertures. I'd rather do it now before the card goes on.
So there we have a nice little an edge to put up the wall going this way. Right, we shall leave that to dry and then concentrate on the front walls. So here is the front of the building. Um, this piece will stick out further and it will also sit on the platforms as it were because there's another face to add to this which will actually sit on the baseboard which will help lock this building in place you'll see as we go along so we've measured up for the front door and um, basically the front door won't be fitted here it'll be fitted to another piece of card further in from the building if that makes sense because there's another two pieces of card going to come inside of this recess here you'll see as we'll go along but the rest of it is exactly the same as the back um, you can see the difference here straight away because there should be two mil there and two mil there which the cards will slot in and then that door should then fit inside Right, so I'm just about to start cutting this circle out. Now I'm bang on the pencil line. I'm just doing little sharp pushes with the blade through the card and then turning it at the same time. Now it takes a couple of turns doing this to puncture it right through, especially with it being two mil thick. Right, so that's one complete circle. And if we look at the back side of it, we should see where I've come through, little tiny dots where I've come through. And basically I'll repeat the, the process again and then hopefully be able to punch it out. Here we have the actual front of the station. This will be the backing piece, uh, like I mentioned earlier. So I'm just um, going to glue this onto that one mil card there. Uh, that piece of card will actually sit on the platform. There's the 18 mil line there. So I'm using PVA wood glue for this. Always pays to get the best quality PVA wood glue. We'll just stick that on there, making sure that that's on the 18mm line. You notice, same with the back, we have a 2mm lip. That's for the 2mm card to join the front and the back together. square that way. Right, so we shall leave that to dry. With the front wall now temporary put up, it's beginning to take shape and now you can actually see the size of this building. And um, yeah, it's, it's going to be quite an impressive little station I think. Right, so now we've done some measuring and I am now starting to cover up some of the card with some brick sheet. This is the Medcalf brick sheet which I used at uh, South Shield. So I'm doing using the same brick, hopefully keeping the same theme as we go. And that 
will be glued onto there and then we'll do like we've done before and then just cut out for the doors and windows before I glue the brick sheet to this face I'm going to glue together the pieces of card um, which will create the the space, the infill, if you like, uh, that we've just measured, uh, the 15 mil. So I'll glue them on to here first, and then once this is glued onto the back, I can then cut around the new pieces of card. Right, so now we're going to glue together this main entrance to bring it out 15 mil from that face that we measured. Make sure that that's flush with the bottom and then flush with the sides. So we've got one piece to go there and the other piece to go there and this sits across there like so to create the opening and that there is going to be the landing across the top. So this is what I've decided to do with the entrance as you can see I've made a little bit of a feature uh, not only that by cutting out or cutting away the card here it just makes it look a little bit bigger inside um, that's what I'm hoping anyway so we shall see on that score um, what's left to do before I put the card in um, the one mil card here needs stiffening up because um, that will probably bend over time so what I'm doing is is I'm putting an infill piece two mil wide slot it into there and there and hopefully with the two pieces it narrows the door aperture a little bit as well because at the moment it's a little bit too big for the door the gap that is see I've got a little two mil gap there as well at that side so with the two of them that should uh, fix that and I'm not too worried about that joint there because the brick sheet's going to cover that up. So with those two pieces in, I don't know if you can see, but that door seems to fit snugly in there now. I wouldn't worry too much about that frame, it's just where it's bending a little bit. Once that's glued back there, that'll be fine. So, it's starting to take shape, so now I can glue the brickwork on the front face. So I'm not worried about that little tear there because there's going to be a, an overhang like there is um, at the Saracens pub. So that's going to hide that. Trying to make them edges a little bit sharper than what they are. No, that's good. So that's the doorway. So now we've got a cutout for the large window and the little window. So what I'm doing there, same as before, little delicate punches right through the sheet all the way around here it's going to become very very dark especially when we put the canopy over the front and the stairs in so what I've decided to do is drill a hole through there and eventually I'll put an LED in that area there so hopefully that will light up the stairs right and in the meantime we're cutting out for the big window so what I've done there, as you can see, I've, I've come away two millimeters, two millimeters, 
and I'm going to cut across the bottom, cut across the top and cut up that 2mm line and then fold that round and then the window will push through from the front helping to, to form a nice sharp edge. Now it's time to see if that big window is going to fit. So I'm just going to run a little bit of rocket glue along those edges inside there that will help soften the card and give it a bit more hopefully pliability so let's just say I'll push the top in gently and there we go nice flush fitting window almost made the measure got a little bit of a kink there hopefully if I just gently push that in the inside that will straighten itself out so what I'll do now is I'll put a couple of spots of super glue on the inside hopefully that will secure it in there right so now we have the big window in and it's glazed and um, what I want to do now is concentrate on the smaller window and what I've done there is I've made up some um, reddish paint and just rubbed that round on the inside and that because the card is so absorbent it's sort of makes it easier to get the tone of the colour right and what I'll do then is I'll push that in there and push it in just a little bit um, just to set it back a little bit not too much um, as you've noticed I have painted the last two rings a grey colour so I don't have to cover the whole um, P166 washer so that will just sit in there like that yet again another nice neat fit it's going to be the hardest bit is getting that cross smack in the centre there you go just pop that in what I'll do I'll just pop it in a little bit not too much just so you can just see the paint on the inside do it's it's there so you can just see the edge of the brickwork that's kind of set in in case you're wondering about the glazing um, the cutouts for the windows I've kept them and I've used them for templates for the glazing um, for instance the round one there I drew round it and then just come in about a millimetre off the template to make sure it fits especially when you've got a wide frame like that obviously you have to be a little bit more delicate when I come to do the other windows because there's not a lot of uh, clearance but yeah so hang on to your bits and pieces for the windows I'm using glue and glaze to seal the windows in just with a toothpick and just on the edges eventually that will seep in and um, seal the window in you could use uh, PVA so now we're moving on to the doors now, as you can see I have just drilled a hole and put in this fine scale pin um, what I'm going to do now put a little bit of super glue on the back and then just snip it off as you see it leaves a little door knob so we'll just put a little bit of super glue on there I 
obviously don't do this if you've got your glazing in there because it will ghost on your glazing so we let the super glue go off and then we'll just cut it back and the ideal tool for cutting off the pin is a set of flush cutters because you can get right down to almost touching the door like so so that's ready for fitting I have placed the front of the building at the station just to see and show you the scale of this building um, it's got presence about it uh, that's for sure it's, it's got a long way to go before it's finished there's all the detailing to put onto the front of the building all that's got to be done yet but yeah it, it's looking impressive already without the sides and the back on um, the only thing is uh, the stairs are too wide now I mean I could trim them down and uh, reuse them but I might keep them for a little haven and design a new set of stairs maybe with a little bit of a landing um, in here in this area here and with the steps going off that side and that side and then with the canopy over the top with a couple of um, well, with four columns maybe or two columns yeah I think that would look impressive so that's as far as I can go with the front face wall so we'll, we might as well go back to the rear wall so what I'm doing here is I am measuring 2.5 in on the edge of each window and each door so that we have the overlap which will return onto the inside that makes sense so what I'll do is I'll cut across there and cut down that line that will fold in same with the other side and then the door will have a nice neat fit because I have cut these slightly oversized to allow for the sheet or the brick paper to come round the corner I have done all my 2.5 lines so I just thought I'd show you this for cutting out so I'm just going across the top and then going across the bottom only as far as the middle turn it round and then starting from the corners to the centre the only reason I'm doing this is so I can so it won't cut into the card here and then it's just straight down the middle of the pencil line Turn it round and then do the same from bottom to centre and that should just pop out. Still not quite there. Like so. And when I come to put the windows in, these flaps will just fold on the inside. And you'll get a nice finish. What I forgot to mention when I did the last circular window is I went round the inside with a fine piece of sandpaper. I just remove any pieces of card. just 
helps make the window more circular too. So I'm just putting in the double doors now. I've already put the glue on the brick paper, between the brick paper and the card. So in just case of just pushing these in very, very gently. Set these in just a little bit back from the card so you can actually see the brickwork on the corner. Yeah, that's enough. Right then, on the inside, it does look a little bit messy, but I can um, touch that up with paint because you know me, I'm going to be detailing the inside. Well, some of the rooms inside the station. And then what it needs now is just a little bit of super glue in the corners. And then that's it, job done. careful not to get any near the windows because you see those windows have just been glued in. I'm going to need some frosted glass for the ladies and the gents windows and um, this is what I've come up with. I've got some P60 um, grit sandpaper here and I've gone backwards and forwards on the glass sheet and then well, after that I've just done some little circles and now we have our frosted glass it's still one side and it's nice and shiny the other side so what I'll do is I'll put this side facing outwards and we'll keep the rustic side on the inside and it looks quite good so what I've done is I've put the coarse side on the outside and the shiny side on the inside and um, because it looks more realistic the shiny side I just placed it on there temporary just looked it didn't look right but this looks quite good so I think I'll leave it at that now that I've completed all the windows and doors for the front and back walls, I'm starting to turn my uh, attention to the inside of the buildings because I'm going to have to do each wall piece part before I assemble it all. More or less what I did with the Saracen's Head pub. Um, yeah, so as you can see there, there's a balcony and uh, there is some brackets for the balcony as you can see and the idea of, is, of that is eventually on this wall here which will line up in this joint here we'll have a set of stairs going up to the balcony which will allow um, people to go into the first floors so that's what I'm doing there and this kind of matches what I've done to the front wall so if you can imagine them side by side all right this is a bit higher because of the platform once that drops down this will come up and then bring it to the same level so there'll be a balcony all the way around and a set of stairs going up on the side so that's the cunning plan 
I have now placed the rear of the building onto the platform just to give myself some sort of idea on how much space to leave for the figures. So I'm looking at uh, 36 mil. So I think that's quite, quite plenty. Bear in mind, there's more brickwork to add as well, so it'll probably come out a further mil, uh, one millimeter, because I've got to add a, a plinth along that edge underneath the window sills. So there's more to come yet. It looks quite plain at the minute, but uh, yeah. So I think 36 mil. So what I'll do is I'll measure the gap between the two walls. Hopefully I've got at least 90 plus millimetres, if not more. Oh, that's alright, that works out at 95 millimetres. So, uh, yeah, so that's plenty of space to create two little rooms here. Uh, one for the ladies and the booking office. It's going to be a very small booking office, but... Uh, yeah, that, that would be plenty. And I will do the same for the other side. So there, there we go. So we will compare that to the drawings. And uh, we shall continue. Right, so we're looking at the drawings again. And um, we said 95mm. And there it is, 95mm, but that's to the outside edges of the wall. So, so what we'll do, we'll have to come in the thicknesses of the wall by 4mm either side. So we shall call that card size 90mm um, or 91 So, um, yeah. So we're close to the mark. Time to cut the last two walls. I have now placed the intermediate walls in between the front wall and the back wall, and that really does help keep the two main walls upright and it gives you a better perspective of the building. And uh, yeah, I think I've got the proportions right. And, um, there's still a lot to do uh, on the inside before I even think about gluing these walls together. Um, it's the stairs to take the passengers up to the viewing platforms or the viewing balcony. So, yeah, and there's the doors to be cut into these two walls. So, yeah, there's a long way to go. But, yeah. I think it's looking quite good actually. So, next week we shall tackle the stairs, the new set of stairs which are going to go into the entrance and then we'll look at hopefully finishing off the inside of that building so we can glue these four walls together. So, until then, Stay safe everybody, and thanks again for watching. Most of all, yeah you know what I'm going to say next, enjoy your model railways. Bye for now. Bye.